Hello, dear students, how are you all? I hope everybody is in order at home, happy and healthy. Okay, let's continue the lesson to dear. Uh, two clips of, uh, I mean, video clips of uh, this lesson have been. Uh, you know, recorded and I believe everybody has uh, watched these two videos. Now it's a continuation of uh, uh, what has been covered in the videos. Okay, this is where uh, we stopped. And the uh, class last, I mean in the last video, the video last in fact. Okay, let's continue. So this, uh, you know, paragraph. Now, so a council was called to consider what could be done. So this was what, uh, uh, you know, it, the opinion uh, of the king of Monaco, the prince of Monaco. What did he want? He wanted it to be reduced. He thought uh, the criminal, uh, you know, the wretch, the criminal, the wretch was not worth the money. He was not ready to spend 16,000 francs to kill the criminal, the wretch. You know, it was offered by the French government. French government was ready to, you know, give the machine and the the expert to cut the man head, you know, the man's head off. The the machine, guillotine machine, and the expert, the executioner, otherwise. So, a council was called to consider what could be done. That's why he he, uh, you know, he called a council. He formed a council to uh, you know to know what to do, what not to do whether to continue or not. And it was decided, the committee, I mean the council decided to send a similar inquiry to the king of Italy. Look at these the two countries which were mentioned in the first paragraph of the uh, lesson. Okay, two countries. They consulted the French government and uh, the council decided, uh, the councillor has decided, or has decided, to consult, uh, you know, Italian government too, the king of Italy otherwise, because what was offered by the French government, 16,000, not 1,600, 16,000 francs, their currency francs. King was not happy, king was not, uh, the Monaco king was not happy. He thought uh, it would be a burden to every individual that it would create uh, 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 react, you know, everything will be chaotic. People want to, you know, stand it. He thought if people would not stand it, he thought. That's why, that's why they decided to consult, uh, you know, Italian government too, the king of Italy. The French government is republican and has no proper respect for king, they thought. But the king of Italy was a brother monarch. Oh, oh, look at the monarch, another word. Prince, kinglet, king, now monarch, brother monarch was the king. Who was uh, the, you know, the king of Italy was who? Who was the king of Italy? He was a brother monarch. May come in the examination. Kindly mark it and, um, you know, uh, keep it highlighted. Okay? Yeah. Now, might be induced to do the thing cheaper. Look at this word, induced, very important word. Okay, kindly, uh, you know, go through and uh, follow the word, underline the word, induced, forced to do the thing cheaper because he was a brother monarch. The reason was a brother monarch. They thought uh, the offer of the king of Italy would be cheaper, comparatively cheap because he was a brother monarch. So, the letter was written. 
they sent a letter to the king whether he would provide them with a, a, a machine, guillotine, and an expert, and a prompt reply. There it took a week's time. Am I right? Let's go back. How much time did it take? How much time uh, the French, you know, I'm sorry, the French government, how much time did it take? It take a week. Here, this government, the king of Italy, and its uh, reply was prompt. It did not take seven days or a week's time. Look at a prompt reply was received by the king of Italy since he was a brother monarch. So the Italian government wrote that they would pleasure, they would have pleasure in supplying a both, I'm sorry, supplying both a machine and expert, and the whole cost would be twelve thousand francs. Look at this. Okay, look at. Okay, now the whole cost would be twelve thousand francs, including travel expenses. This was cheaper, comparatively. This was cheap, but it still seemed too much to the king. He thought it was too much to the king. The wretch was not worth the money. The rascal was not worth the money. The criminal was not worth the money. It was, uh, it was uh, what uh, uh, the thought of the king. It was the opinion of the king. So the rascal was really not worth the money. It was still mean nearly two francs more per head on the taxes. It would be a burden. Okay? So, another council was called. Look at how, you know, it has uh, uh, been taking uh, a number of, you know, forms. The decision has been, uh, you know, uh, has been taking uh, different forms. It was decided to kill, but uh, they came to know that they did not have machine and the uh, experts required the, the operator. And that's why they consulted the French government and the government was ready to provide this king or the king of Monaco or the country Monaco to provide you know them with the machine and an expert otherwise an executioner to cut the men's head off to continue uh, what they want to you know do but for 16,000 francs it might not have included a travel expenses, but this government, Italian government, and the king of the Italian government, or the king of Italy was a brother monarch, and he was ready to provide the king, I mean the king of Monaco, the machine required, and also the expert, including travel expenses. It came to, the offer came to 12,000 francs. It was cheaper. Comparatively, it was cheap, 16,000 francs, French government, 12,000 francs, Italian government, but the king was not happy. He thought it would be a burden. He didn't want to continue with the decision that uh, they made. So, he thought, you, you know, it would, it, you know, it would uh, still mean two francs more per head on the taxes. That's why he formed another council. They discussed and considered how could I'm sorry, less expense. So, what did he the new council? He told them to do the thing cheaper. The, you know, to punish the criminal with less expense. He thought these offers wouldn't work. He was not ready. That's why he formed a commission, I mean a council, and then he instructed them to do or to punish the criminal or the wretch or the rascal with less expense. 
could not one of our soldiers this was his thought this was his thinking perhaps we got to do it in a rough and homely fashion couldn't it be done couldn't we take uh, uh, the, the 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 help of one of the soldiers we have you know they had 16 sorry 60 soldiers in the army couldn't one of them do or couldn't one of them kill this rascal this uh, you know this uh, this criminal the general was called and was asked that's why the general of the army was invited and he was asked the the council asked him can't you find us a soldier who could you know can't you find us a soldier who would cut the man's head off can't you find one for us can't you help us out he was asked can't you help us out the king asked i mean the king wanted to know from the general of the army whether one of them one of them would be ready to kill punish this man to punish this uh, criminal it was to cut his head off it was just to cut his his head off it would be you know uh, it would then be done with less expense in a war they don't mind killing people usually what happens in a war they kill people in fact that's what they are trained for soldiers are trained to kill people am i right that's why you know look at uh, on what line you know on what thought uh, the the decision has been uh, uh, has been uh, uh, taking shape how has uh, it uh, been redirected by the king this is what you have to ponder over very important now in fact that's what they are trained for he thought that's why it would be you know done if uh, they were if one of them was ready it would be done with less expense so the general talked it over with the soldiers to see whether one of them would not undertake the job that's why the general was instructed to talk to the soldiers and the general asked the soldiers whether one of them would undertake the job or not the soldiers told the general that none of the none of them would do it the general was told the soldiers told the, i mean all the soldiers told the general that none of them uh, you know would not do it because they did not know they told the general they did not know how to do it look at the innocence of the army i mean soldiers let's focus on the idea it's so funny don't you think uh, every soldier is trained to kill people i mean the intruders those who do anti social activities those who are threats to country but these soldiers told the general they did not know what to do i mean sorry how to do it how to kill people they did not know how to do it it's not a thing we have been taught they told look at uh, uh, the innocence of the people why do you think uh, this has happened it's only because of the introduction of the king otherwise it was a peace loving country probably people were happy people were in order it's because of uh, uh, the king what kind of king was he he was a uh, not a selfless king he was a selfish king for his purposes he destroyed the country almost almost this is what is to be uh, uh, you know this is what is to be examined properly self you know self motive his purposes his motive 
has become most important not the uh, not the intentions of the citizens even the soldiers were not ready to kill the intruders what you are what you are it's so funny you know at the same time the topic is not it's what is to be uh, you know uh, pondered over for a long time you have to take time you know you have to um, examine re-examine you know consider reconsider these things in fact that's what they are trained for the soldiers but the general talked it over with the soldiers to see whether one of them would not undertake the job what was the job the job was to punish to kill the criminal who murdered a man who killed a man but the soldiers were not i mean the soldiers were not ready none of them were ready because they did not know how to do it it was uh, uh, you know uh, it was not the thing that they had been trained for they had been taught by anybody no such lessons have been taught in the country okay i have been able to follow my dear students i have uh, been um, uh, trying to give you you know uh, pieces of information which are important uh, you know to comprehend uh, the text fully comprehensively okay i have been making an attempt okay now what was to be done if uh, this was uh, you know has been the case otherwise what could be done who could do something who could help him out what could be done again the ministers considered and reconsidered this assembled a commission look at this a committee and a sub committee they have been making you know very very effective attempt to solve the problem to help the king out that was to kill the criminal with less expense and then the king would be very happy he was ready to do anything for his welfare but for the welfare of his people he was not ready to spend 16000 francs not 12000 francs but he wanted it to be uh, done with less expense okay or without expenses at all that is the concern that is the idea which is to be understood okay now they assembled a commission he is ready to spend uh, uh, money on these things forming commissions committees sub committees these things he ha- you know he has been ready he was ready but to kill the man he was not he was not ready to spend that much Uh, you know amount of money okay now and at last they decide the committee sub committees commissions they, they decided the best thing would be to alter the death sentence to one of imprisonment for life look at look at uh, uh, you know uh, the crux of the matter one of the important uh, things this is a change in the story a, a radical change that takes place here okay now what happened taking uh, into the you know into consideration uh, you know taking into consideration of uh, the king's views king's point of view otherwise they thought they decided this would be better the following would be the following uh, i do would be better the following i do would be the best not better the best the what was the idea the idea was to alter change the decision what was the decision the earlier decision the decision earlier otherwise it was the death sentence it was to kill the criminal it was the death sentence but they wanted it to be changed to one of imprisonment if they change the decision 
it will postpone the killing of the uh, you know criminal okay if you postpone if they you know if they were ready to postpone the killing of the uh, criminal it would also be yeah, you know kind of punishment it would also be uh, the uh, the the, the uh, you know required punishment you know the punishment which would suffice but he would not be killed he would be imprisoned imprisonment imprisonment for life it would uh, you know then be one and the same the thought killing him now you know uh, uh, killing him uh, then requires uh, you know a lot of a lot of efforts a uh, lot of uh, you know it includes uh, much expenses that's why if you if uh, if they were to imprison him for life it do not cost 16000 francs it do not cost uh, you know 12000 francs uh, it would you know it would come come cheaper it would uh, be done with less expense when they made the decision when they uh, you know when they decided the decision this was uh, in their mind they thought it would be Uh, you know it would be done with less expense it would come cheaper they thought when they change their decision or the idea of decision i mean sorry decision changing the idea of uh, changing the decision that was to alter the decision alter the death sentence to one of the imprisonment for life okay now this would enable the prince to show his mercy there are there were two ideas why did they decide this uh, you know why did they decide to change or alter the decision there were two reasons one it would show some mercy on the part of the criminal and it would come cheaper too <laughs> they thought it would come cheaper but it's like you know slow poison it would not be cheaper but they thought at that moment they thought because looking after him keeping him alive requires you know requires money but at present it would be cheaper not in future but it did not come to their mind at once they decided to change or alter the decision and they changed it too for the two reasons which hit their head uh, you know at that uh, at that moment now the prince agreed to this as usual not unusual it is as usual he agreed to he was happy so the matter was matter was arranged the problem was solved for the time being the only hitch now was that there was no suitable prison for a man sentence for life look at look at look at it how funny has it be now they decided to change the decision and king agreed and they did, you know they did, they i'm sorry they changed the decision but after changing the decision they came to know that there was no suitable prison suitable means proper prison 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 custody what we call lock up what we call prison to keep him a room to keep him for a man sentenced for life he was uh, uh, to be imprisoned for life but there was no you know no space required to keep him at all they came to know the truth only after making the decision altering the decision now there was a small lock up where people were sometimes kept temporarily look at look at this there was a lock up not a prison but it was for uh, temporary purposes people were kept there temporarily and then what happened but uh, there was no strong prison fit for permanent use means to say crimes didn't occur in the country at all there were no sources of crime in the country or you know in the country at all people were p 
peace loving people were happy people had everything required everything under the sun they they were innocent they did not know what the you know crime i mean crimes what the crimes were what it was meant by killing they don't they did not know at all but because of the introduction of the game okay it's because of him probably okay now however they managed to find a place that to do and they put a young fellow and there and placed a guard over him look at look at the, the arrangements made there was no strong prison there was a lock up but there people were kept temporarily and uh, uh, they needed a strong you know strong prison to keep him there permanently but they found a place that would do and they kept this young fellow he was young he was young that's why maybe between 15 and 25 he might uh, this might be his age so he was kept there where where was he kept he was kept in the place that they thought that would do they did not have but that would do and they put the young fellow there and also to look after him they appointed a man a watchman a guard over him wouldn't it cost much would it come cheaper wouldn't it be costly wouldn't it be expensive but at that moment when they made the decision when uh, when they altered the decision these ideas didn't hit didn't come to them at all they were all in fact idiots even the king didn't come to know even the king did not uh, understand uh, you know this costly affair that's why the title okay now the guard had to watch the criminal look at uh, one who got appointed what was his uh, responsibility it was to watch the criminal his activities inside and uh, had also to fetch his food from the palace kitchen oh ho look at isn't he uh, equal to is equal to the king because he gets his food from the palace kitchen there is no difference at all <laughs> he was treated as a uh, uh, you know as the king was treated he was given the same sumptuous feast there was no differences at all why was it so because of you know because of the king because of the stupid king the guard had to watch the criminal and also to sorry and had also to fetch his food from the palace kitchen now the prisoner remained there month after month till a year had passed look at this this was how a year had passed ondu varsha kalavu irutte hige chanagi avanu thana punishment anna criminal anubhavistane eshtu chanagi anubhavistane ant aramadalli yavude chinte illa thumba sukhadinda ondu reethil helidre yake ant helidre avanige food ellinda baruthe ant ant helidre ಫುಡ್ ಅವನಿಗೆ ಪ್ಯಾಲೇಸ್ ಕಿಚನ್ ಅಂದು ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಕೂಡ ಫುಡ್ ಎಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಹೋಗೋದು ಪ್ಯಾಲೇಸ್ ಕಿಚನ್ ಇಂದ ಕ್ರಿಮಿನಲ್ಗೆ ಪ್ಯಾಲೇಸ್ ಕಿಚನ್ ಎಂದು ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅಷ್ಟಲ್ಲದೆ ನೋಡಿಕೊಳ್ಳಿಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದು ಜನ ಕೂಡ ಇದೆ ಅವರಿಗೆ ದ ಗಾಡ್ ಏನೋ ಅ ಗಾಡ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಟು ಲುಕ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಒಂದು ವರ್ಷ ಕಳೆದ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿದೆ ಪನಿಷ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ನಾವು when a year had passed the king let looking over the account for his income and expenditure after a year the king went through you know he read expenses and you know income account what happened he noticed what did he notice a new item of expenditure 
that was not that yesterday years it was not that yesterday years but this year included a new item of expenditure what was uh, it this was for the keep of the criminal what was the new item to look after the criminal nor was it a smaller item either it was not a small small item either there was a special guard the item that he, he talked about was the guard the guard was to be paid and he was paid for a year and that costed him a lot it was expensive look at now there was also the men's food the men's food it is not a, you know it it was not the criminal's food it it was the guard's food it included his food too those things were free for him too accommodation food they were free moreover he was given a monthly salary this item was costly this item was dear too dear almost it came to more than 600 francs a year look at it what came a guard was appointed there was also men's food and his accommodation and everything including all in all it came to 600 francs a year and the worst of it was that the fellow was still young and healthy and might live for 50 years two men's you know food uh, watchman some in the guard's accommodation and the criminal the young fellow was healthy too this in fact uh, you know might live for 50 years he thought avanu 50 varsha badkiya hige avanu nodikollutha albitre what would uh, you know how would it uh, affect the king he thought it would be his end the end of end of his happiness that's why when one came to recon it up the matter was serious look at recon it up one when one uh, you know calculated how much would it be if he lived for 50 years they were shocked they were uh, in fact uh, uh, you know they 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 went crazy the the matter became very serious it would never do mm-hmm. they thought it would uh, it uh, you know the decision of uh, uh, keeping him for life was a uh, a great error so the prince summoned his ministers and said to them at once they called the minister everybody was called everybody was you know at once summoned and he told them you must find some cheaper way of dealing with this this rasca the present plan is too expensive too expensive look at the title too expensive too dear what was to dear looking after him for life the imprisonment for life to the prisoner was too expensive according to the king that's why he asked them to find some cheaper way and the ministers met and considered reconsider till one of them said look at this this is hilarious you really can't stop yourselves from laughing everything is what comes after okay i'm i'm sure uh, so far what we have read too has been hilarious but uh, what is to come is uh, in fact more hilarious okay now that's why to make uh, i know to make a very good decision to deal this uh, um, you know to to help the king out to come to a proper conclusion they met and considered reconsider the same matter and one of the uh, one of the ministers said gentlemen in my opinion you must dismiss the guard at once okay if this is uh, uh, you know uh, it's uh, an item of uh, a great expenditure 
requires almost 600 francs a year, then why don't you dismiss him at once? Can't we, can't we, you know, can't we pass an order at once? This was uh, uh, the opinion of one of the ministers who came to uh, the meeting. But then rejoined another, another minister rejoined him, joined him, in fact. The fellow will run away. If you dismiss the guard, the criminal would run away. The criminal who was imprisoned for life was inside because it was not a, a strong prison. It was a place that they thought to do. Since there was no strong prison, they appointed this guard to look after him. If you dismiss him, what would happen? The criminal will run away. Well said the first speaker, the first minister. Let him run away. If uh, uh, you know this, uh, this, uh, and if this happens, okay, he was of the opinion that if uh, this happened, let him run away. What would happen if you, run, you know, if you, the criminal, you know, criminal runs away? What would happen? Nothing will happen. The thought. So well said the first speaker. Let him run away, run away, and be hanged to him. The chumu chana ki bar kare karna kare le. Anu wordi hogli, anu wordi ki saile na mian taagli kunte. The speaker, the first speaker, let him run away. Said, let him run away and be hanged to him. Saile on, be hanged to him. Ogi saile on, wordi hogli. Na mian taagli kunte. So, this was the conclusion. So they reported the result of their deliberations, discussions to the kinglet and he agreed with them as usual, as I have told you, not unusual, as usual. When they shared what, the, uh, what their conclusion was, he agreed too. That's why the guard was dismissed. Okay, they thought the criminal would run away. This is hilarious, my dear students. Kindly give your rapt attention and try to follow everything. The guard was dismissed as, uh, uh, you know, as uh, yeah, it was the first step of their great plan, you know, plan of escaping, plan of uh, getting rid of uh, the expenditure. You know, it was to uh, it was to save some money for future. It was to make the king happy. So, as a first, uh, sorry, as a first step to, you know, as the first step to execute their plan, they dismissed the guard. What happened after dismissing? After they dismissed the guard, they waited to see what would happen. They thought, since it was not a strong prison, there was nobody to look after, the criminal would run away. They thought, what do you think, my dear students? Would he run away? Do you think he will run away? See what happens. All that happened was that at dinner time, the criminal came out. Since there was nobody, I mean, if, uh, I mean the, the guard was not there. What did he do? He came out. Since he did not find anybody fetching his food from the palace kitchen to him, he did not find. So he came out. What did he do? Instead of running away at dinner time, he came out and not finding his guard, he went to the prince's kitchen to fetch his own dinner. Look at this. Since uh, he did not find his guard, he went to the palace kitchen and, you know, brought his food, fetch his food on dinner. He took what was given him. He did not complain anybody there at all, whether they gave him less or not. He took what was given and then returned to the prison, to the same space, the room, shut the door on himself. He helped himself to shut the door. Next, stayed inside. Did it come to their mind when they decided 
to dismiss the guard and let the the criminal you know run away when they decided when they decided to make him run away did it come to their mind no not at all next day the same thing occurred he did not run away the criminal did not run away as they thought he went for his food at the proper time punctual as for running away he showed did not show the least sign of it there was no you know sign of running away at all he did not run away at all next day the same thing happened they were shocked again what was to be done they considered the matter again that's why they did not know what to do as they thought it didn't happen as they planned it didn't happen they failed they were in fact uh, successfully a failure they were a failure they failed completely now we shall have to tell him straight out to look at it straight out on his face straight out without making it delayed straight out look at that's what uh, they decided mukad mele hodda heli bidu neerava heli bidu beko straight out we shall have to tell him straight out straight out and said i'm sorry we shall have to step we have we shall have to tell him straight out said that they that we don't want to keep him so the minister of justice had him brought before him they thought it would be better to tell him to run away and that's why he was brought brought before the minister of justice who was brought before the minister of justice the criminal criminal was brought before the minister of justice what did he do okay what did he do what did the criminal do what did he do now look at what what did he do why do you not run away we don't want to keep you said the minister alla mare nin nodikolik yar illa and in a garden i'm dismiss maadi agide nin odi hogodu why don't you run away alla nin yaake odi hogudilla anta said the minister there is no god to keep you you can go wherever you like the prince will not mind nina adara hage andu kodidiya namge enna thondre aagutade anta namge en thondre aagudilla nin odi hodre odi hogbeku antane hage maadittu ಓಡಿ ಹೋಗಬೇಕಂತಲೇ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದು ಡಿಸ್ಮಿಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದು ಗಾರ್ಡನ್ ಇನ್ನು ಮರಿ ಓಡಿ ಹೋಗುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ಐ ಡ್ಯಾರ್ ಸೇ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಐ ಡ್ಯಾರ್ ಸೇ ದ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸ್ ವುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ರಿಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಓಕೆ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಕೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವೀಡಿಯೋ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಐ ಬಿಲೀವ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಓರ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ enough i believe 30 minutes is enough you can't watch any video more than 30 minutes okay let's call it today thank you so much bye bye take care